I've called everyone. And I'm going to call who you should have started with. The police. So let's take it easy, Tony. Start from the beginning. When did you last see her? She left work early yesterday, around noon. One of her friends picked her up, and they went wherever they go with themselves. And she didn't tell you where she was going or calling? No. Let me tell you something, Frank. I don't like that boyfriend. I don't like him one bit. Something's fishy and he smells of it. I think you need to get him in here for a little chat. Let's find out how that car got there first. I can't lose her, Frank. Not like this. Not to him. Her car is parked outside my apartment, but she never made it inside. Johnny, I'm going to ask you this just once. Did you do something to my girl? No, Tony. I haven't seen her since Thursday. When did you last see Tina? Mm, I mean, I picked her up for lunch, and we met our friend Cindy at Rosetta's, and we were there for like an hour. And we went to the mall and did some shopping just preparing for the party that night. And after that, I had to meet my boyfriend at his house, so Cindy took Tina home, or to work. Oh God, have you heard anything from her? Anything? How well do you know Tina's boyfriend? Oh, Johnny? <laughs> He's a creep. How so? Johnny's the controlling type. He tries to always be around her all the time. It's just creepy. I don't know how long her car's been sitting outside. I've called Ashley, I've called Cindy, I've called everyone. So Ashley tells me Johnny's a real jerk. Ashley said that? Mm -hmm. Ashley just hates guys. Johnny's fine. Really, he's fine. He's weird, but he's not a creep. They're actually pretty serious, and Johnny's a pretty nice guy. Ashley just hates guys. So what happened after you left the mall? Ashley had to see her boyfriend. So I took Tina up to the shop to get her car. Why didn't you just take her to her boyfriend's apartment? Well, she had to get her car eventually. And I think she said something about having to go to work in the morning and do some stuff. Well, did you see her enter her vehicle? Um, no, but I wasn't really worried about it. The light was on in the office. Jesus. Is my girl okay? Tony, I don't know where she is. Why do you think something's happened? She was supposed to come and pick me up today for a party. She was out all day with her friends, and, and, and she was supposed to come in and pick me up, but I haven't heard anything from her since she left work this morning. How'd you find out she was missing? It was that damn boyfriend, Frank. He called me up, told me her car was parked out in front of his apartment, but she never made it inside. He said he hadn't heard from her since she left work. But I can't figure out how the car got where it did. Let me tell you something, Frank. I don't like this boyfriend. I don't like him one bit. There's not even a trace of her being in the car. I mean, nothing. It's like the thing drove itself to my apartment. What was the last conversation you had with Tina? Jeez, it wasn't anything special. It was just, hey, how are you? How was your day? Um, she was excited about the party. Um, and she was glad she was able to cut off work a little early. But nothing outside of that. How serious would you consider your relationship with Tina? We're in love, I think. And uh, we have similar plans outside of this town, and I figured somewhere down the road, uh, I could offer her a way out. A way out? A way out of what? Oh, come on. Let's be a little serious here. It's not like working finances for a muffler and brake company is everyone's dream. God, her dad treats her like a damn housewife. It's just not right. Hey, that's a little unfair of you to say, don't you think? Hey, she still lives at home, and I'm sure Tony just expects some sort of work out of her. I think Tony loves her a lot. Don't be so sure. Hey. That man is stuck in a time that has long since passed. He treats his daughter the same way he treated his dead wife. And it's not right. She deserves a way out.
Sit down. What time did Cindy drop Tina off at your office? I have no idea, Frank. I'd long gone by then. There's nothing to do being out that late but getting into trouble. I, I don't know why they have to be out so late when they have to be to work the next morning. I talked to Cindy. She said the lights were on in your office, Tony. Damn. I left the lights on? You wouldn't even give your daughter a day off. You're all over for leaving the books open. When's the last time you left the lights on anyway? It was a long day, Frank. I... I, I was distressed. I, I was worried sick. Worried about what? Worried I'd lost my daughter. Just like I lost my wife. I didn't mean to do it, Frank. 